I'm thankful today to be able to, you know, be with my dad and to work on cars and together and just, you know, learn from my dad on Thanksgiving. Today, washed my car. I'm going to wax it and going to spend some time with my dad's car. This is mine. Getting getting it waxed right now. So I have some turtle wax right here. I don't know if you can see this, but it might be hard. Applying some wax right now. And then my dad's car over there. Going to be applying some oil to it. Yeah. This is what I enjoy doing. Just helping my dad out. There he is. Yeah, we're uh, taking a little shot, sir, of Eric waxing, proudly waxing his car. <laughs> I'm not about pride. Well, you have to be some, Eric, as a black man. <laughs> yeah, right. I know, they beat you down pretty good, but, you know, what are you going to do? You can't take it. you got to kick back. I did it for 70 years. You can, too. What about your car? We're not going to wax my car. Because if you paint, if you're going to paint a car, that's the last thing you want to do is wax it. Let's go look at it while, you're, while it's drying. Okay. Yeah, you could make your own YouTube video. And this is a very good engine. I didn't like it when they first came out, but it's a very good engine. It's very fast, and this car could have hot rod potential. 2.4 liter twin cam. It really opens up too when you get on it. Oh, and today, don't forget, I'm going to check my air dam and air filter. All right. Okay, and under here is the suspension that we're talking about. The entire, entire shock, strut, and spring rotates. And there's the grease fitting there for it. Did you apply anything for that not, yet? Not yet. I didn't put no grease in it yet. Boy, we're getting the sclags in here today, aren't we? I don't know. So what? No, we're recording. So what? We're candid. There's my nice wheels that we were talking about earlier. That every car has chrome ones on, but this. Uh, and it's a Skylark Custom. Okay. All right. Well, we're almost halfway done with applying the wax to the car. I have this headlight uh, restoration kit, also by Turtle Wax or Turtle. Yeah, turtle wax it says on there but uh, here's the difference if you can tell I don't know if you can see the difference but this lens right here to the left is definitely a lot more cloudy than this one this is the one that I applied the uh, restoration kit to it might be really hard to see But one is definitely a lot more cloudy than the other. We're also applying some grease to grease fittings today. My dad's car, grease fitting, it's right there. This one we applied a little bit too much and the seal burst, but that's not a big deal, really. We just uh, cleaned uh, my dad's okay. air filter. I need that vacuum. There's dirt down in there. Cleaning my dad's air filter as opposed to replacing it for the time being. I'm 
using a handheld to clear out any debris in the air dam. This is called. And I'm going to use a screwdriver to get in here and further loosen up anything that might be like a bird's nest or anything like a mice nest. My car is relatively complete. I purchased some undercoating that my dad suggested that I don't use. What I was going to do is I was going to sand down some parts on the internal of my uh, engine compartment that were sort of developing a little bit of rust. And he talked me away from applying this undercoating, which is really thick stuff. It's real thick. We're using some penetrating oil right there is the oil can and these are the areas where you can see that some rust has developed there's my engine compartment GM 3800 series 2 engine V6 205 horsepower As you can see, this, this is where we applied some, some oil. See these various areas. What you're seeing at the very bottom is flakes, where we flaked off rust. But uh, my car is done, basically, in terms of being waxed and prepared for winter, except for new struts, coil packs, and tires. This is Thanksgiving Day, and this is how the Anderson family enjoys ourselves. One more thing on your car, you got to find a power steering pump. Remember we couldn't find it last time. This power steering. It has to be found. Here I am arriving at my grandmother's. Going to be enjoying some Thanksgiving dinner, hopefully. Thankfully, and all of that. Here's the wonderful Thanksgiving dinner that my grandmother has provided for us, me and my dad. Just absolutely amazing that she's able to cook all of this every single year. And she's 83 years old. Thank you, grandmother, and thank you, God, for everything.